That was delicious. Hmm, good. What'd you get here? Uh, government supply train. While you might have your go-to expensive treat, it's probably nothing compared to these top 10 rarest dishes in the world. So if you want to indulge, get ready to spend the big bucks. Oh, look, honey, there's the hors d'oeuvres. Kobe beef. You know what Kobe beef is? The most expensive beef in the world. While beef is hardly an exclusive or rare food stuff, Kobe, on the other hand, is far from an ordinary cut of meat. Let's just say the chances of finding a cheap piece of Kobe beef at your local grocery store are pretty slim. Produced exclusively from Wagyu cows in Japan, Kobe meat is highly expensive and widely sought after all around the world. Wow. It really does melt in your mouth. The cows are tended to closely throughout their entire lives, fed only with the finest grasses, and are, amazingly enough, given massages on a daily basis. Oh, and we can't forget about the sake baths and the occasional beer sampling, which are said to keep the cows calm. This is done to ensure that Kobe beef remains incomparable, unmatched, and utterly exclusive. Even though it's one of the rarest meats in the world, its growing popularity now means that it's available across the globe. Obviously, it's mainly available in select restaurants and only to those who can afford it. Huh? Yeah. Wow. You're welcome. It may be pricey, but anyone who has tried it says it's the best slice of beef they have ever had. Black and white truffles. You're a truffle. Ugh. A truffle is a fungus that grows in tree roots. Truffles are amongst the most popular mushrooms in the world, but they're far from being the most frequently eaten, that's for sure. In fact, much of their popularity stems from seasonality and limited supply and are revered by fine food lovers everywhere. Despite there being hundreds of known truffle species, only fewer than 10 are eaten. The two biggest stars of the show? Black truffles and white truffles, both native to Europe. White truffles are the rarest and most expensive type of the two and primarily come from the Piedmont and Tuscany regions in the northwest and central parts of Italy. Come on, numb nose, sniff me a truffle. Black truffles, on the other hand, come from France, especially Perigord in the south central region of the country. These are a little more common than the white ones, but are still rare compared to any other mushroom. Regardless of the variety, people wouldn't be able to enjoy truffles without a little help from humans' best friends, dogs. Well trained truffle dogs and formerly pigs will sniff out the fungi hiding underground near tree roots and dig them up. I want to be fancy too. Another reason for the price tag on truffles is that the fresher the truffle is, the better the taste, which makes transporting them long distances difficult as they lose some of their taste. Fugu. But I should warn you that one. One pal, Fugu me! These wild puffer fish contain deadly tetrodotoxin and need to be prepared with the utmost precision and skill. Otherwise, they can be very deadly. In fact, fugu has claimed more than one casualty over the years. 60 years ago, fugu would kill around 100 people per year, but that number has drastically dropped to almost zero. This is mostly because of the new rules in place to ensure the safety of the consumers. In order to qualify and develop the proper skills to prepare this fish, chefs need to train for at least two years and obtain a special license. Usually eaten raw, fugu can also be eaten grilled over a charcoal flame or seared and flavored with ponzu sauce. You're a very bright young man, James, but you need to lay off the sauce. Of course, with all of the training and skills that go into preparing fugu, it makes it a very expensive and very exclusive delicacy. So if you're ever in Japan and you're curious about this deadly fish, go ahead and take the opportunity to visit a restaurant that serves it. I see dead people. But since farmed non-poisonous fugu is increasing in popularity, that means the genuine wild torafugu, or tiger blowfish, remains the most exclusive and most expensive way to experience authentic fugu. Matsutake mushrooms. Do I know you? I'm your elderly spirit mushroom. 
Really? Found in Asia, Europe, and North America, the Matsutake mushroom is another fungus that would find a spot on the rarest mushrooms in the world list. Grown under trees, in Japan particularly, the price of the Matsutake mushroom has significantly increased over the years due to a pine-killing nematode which has dramatically reduced their numbers, making it rarer than it already is. Not only that, but Matsutake also needs to be grown organically and cannot be artificially cultivated or farmed in any way. This makes this mushroom even more difficult to get your hands on, which then makes it even more sought after. Shut up and take my money! The fungus has a symbiotic relationship with the tree it blooms under and can't grow in the same place twice. Because of that, early season Matsutake can reach up to $1,000 a kilogram. Their distinct spicy and nutty flavor is what makes them an integral part of many bold and delicious dishes. Mmm, you should smell it. The sweetness, the richness of that. Which, many argue, makes them worth their exorbitant price tag. Densuke Black Watermelon. You guys? I swallowed a seed. <gasps> we all know that watermelon is hardly a rare food. After all, during the summer especially, we see most supermarkets and stores packed full of melon goodness. However, the Densuke black watermelon isn't like any melon you've seen before or are likely to see. Also from Japan, the Densuke black watermelon is solely grown on the northern Japanese island of Hokkaido. Densuke watermelons differ from their domestic counterparts in quite a few ways. For starters, they are stripeless, deep, dark green, and have a sweeter taste. They are also extremely sought after and fetch astonishingly high prices. They ain't gonna stand here with the stomachs growling while I savor this delicious treat. Grown in small batches, the few early harvested melons have been known to sell for over $6,000. While the melons are sold all around the world, they are incredibly rare. Usually only a handful are distributed to one location. If you want the most authentic experience of a Densuke, you should definitely book a trip to the island of Hokkaido itself. Pretty good. But that could be a bit of an extravagant trip just to taste a melon, even if it is supposed to be the best watermelon you will ever taste. Moose cheese. I can't ignore the cheese. Yeah, we'll talk about I'm sorry, the Cheese is possibly one of the biggest food groups people go crazy for. Whether it's the taste, smell, or price tag, cheese really does have its die-hard fans. Out of all the cheeses in the world, moose cheese sits at the top as the most expensive and rarest cheese in the world. Milking a moose can't be easy. Perhaps that's why moose milk cheese can set a buyer back as much as $500 per pound. But for those with a passion for dairy, the Elk House in Björholm, Sweden makes four varieties of the pricey product, all thanks to three moose sisters. Gula, Helga, and Juno lactate only from May through to the end of September. Who eats these? Mr. Crosby at number five. He can't get enough. Since coaxing the five liters of milk from each moose every day takes a delicate hand and a lot of patience, it explains the product's prestige and price. The Elk House Farm makes four kinds of cheese from the high-protein milk. A soft, white mold similar to camembert, a blue cheese, a dried blue cheese, and feta. The latter, which gets preserved in neutral vegetable oil, is Elk House's best seller. While some of the varieties are available at select restaurants scattered across the country, that's as far as they travel. Dad, cheese truck! All the more reason to visit the Elk House's farm and pay a visit to these fine lactating ladies. Almas Caviar. You're taking all the caviar? That caviar is a garnish. We all know that caviar is possibly the very symbol of a luxury lifestyle and the poster child for rare and expensive food items, and synonymous with exclusivity. While many people might get the chance to indulge in this delicacy at some point in their lives, it's not everyone who gets to enjoy it on a daily basis. Even less so, this variation. The list of people who get the opportunity to sample Almas caviar, also known as white gold caviar, caviar is also fairly small. I love gold! 
Almas caviar is a true delicacy and even holds the Guinness World Record for the most expensive of all caviar. The pearly white eggs of the albino beluga sturgeon found in the Caspian Sea are taken only from fish that are more than a century old. The endangered status of the fish has driven the price and exclusivity of this caviar up even further. And at $20,000 a pound, it would be fair to say that Almas caviar is one of the rarest foods in the world. World. No, we couldn't afford this. However, this caviar cannot be purchased just anywhere. You'd need to visit one of the few caviar house and prunier stores just to obtain a small amount. Its delicate and nuanced flavor is said to be worth the effort, or at least that's what the rich and wealthy want us to believe. The Fortress Stilt Fisherman Indulgence. Wow, chocolate, half price. The Fortress Stilt Fisherman Indulgence holds a reputation as one of the most expensive desserts in the world. It consists of a gold leaf Italian cassata flavored with Irish cream infused with fruit, which makes up the body of the indulgence. It is also served with a mango and pomegranate compote and a Dom Perignon Champagne Savayon. But the thing that truly sets this dish apart and makes it so special is the handmade chocolate fisherman sitting astride a traditional stilt, also made of chocolate, which is counterbalanced by an 80-carat aquamarine stone. Three words for you. Treat, yo, sell. And with its handmade flared glass, it's easy to see why this is one of the rarest, most exclusive, and most exquisite desserts. The dessert is only available at the Fortress Resort in Sri Lanka and needs to be ordered 24 hours in advance. We realize that this food item is a once-in-a-lifetime treat, but anyone who is lucky enough to enjoy this dessert will be talking about it for years to come. Oh, I'm sorry. We were talking about chocolate? That was 10 minutes ago. Bird's Nest Soup. This guy makes the best soup in the city, Jerry. The best. Also known as swallow's nest soup, people in China have been eating bird's nests for more than a thousand years. Apparently, bird's nest soup is believed to have near-magical properties like curing diseases and helping children grow taller. And the main ingredient? You guessed it, it's a bird's nest. You ate my bird. It's made from the partially dissolved nest of a swiftlet, a small bird native to Southeast Asia. The nest is then cooked into a gelatinous soup that is very popular. Three times a year, Swiftlets build nests out of their sticky saliva on cave walls and cliff sides where they raise their young. What makes bird's nest soup so expensive is the high cost of harvesting these saliva nests. Up until recently, the only way to get a hold of these nests was to find them in the wild. Getting your hands on one proved to be difficult and dangerous. No soup for you! In recent years, there have been some of these birds' nests for sale in the U.S., with a starting asking price of a couple of thousand dollars each. Now that is a high price to pay for a bowl of soup. Saffron. I'm telling you, saffron will be just the thing. Saffron is easily one of the most precious spices in the world. The thread-like red stigmas with the yellow hue they impart are literally the stuff of legend. The spice comes from a flower called Crocus satibus, which is commonly known as the saffron crocus. It is believed that saffron originated from Greece, but today the spice is primarily grown in Iran, Morocco, India, as well as Greece. Each flower produces only three threads of saffron and blooms for only one week each year. The saffron must be harvested by hand in the mid-morning because that's when the flowers are still closed, which is to protect the stigmas inside. To produce only one ounce of saffron, it takes about 1,000 flowers. This explains why you'll pay $10 to $13 per gram for the real deal, adding up to more than $500 an ounce. Do you have any idea how hard it is to find saffron in this town? To ensure you're getting the best saffron possible, all you need to do is take a sniff. If it smells like sweet hay, you're in luck. With a subtle, slightly sweet, and luxurious taste, saffron should definitely be on your bucket list of things to try before you die. And at a price like this, it surely could not disappoint. So delicious! I gotta have more. Get a taste of more great videos. Just tap or click. First time here? Then leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.